Well, hey there, people of YouTube. So um, today is actually going to be really exciting. And I'm a bit nervous here because, uh, okay, first of all, we're going to talk about something that I've never discussed before on my channel, which is the ARC 5 manga, which is awesome. And I also have someone really awesome here with me. I have the manga expert with me. I have Rarity Fangirl 31 VA with me. So would you like to uh, introduce yourself to the audience? Yes. Um, hi, guys. I'm pretty sure most of you know me, but if you don't, um, I'm Rarity. I talk about the ARC 5 manga a heck of a lot. I think I'm probably the biggest ARC 5 manga fan in the fandom. I dub the ARC 5 manga on my channel. If you guys don't know that, which is kind of like a audio visual adaptation of the manga with voice acting, music, all that jazz to make it feel like you're watching the anime. So you kind of enjoy it to bring it to a new perspective. And I'm really happy that Thea decided to bring me on for this because I can talk about the manga all day. I'm pretty sure you all know that if you know me. So it's really going to be amazing to kind of talk about it with someone new. Awesome. So like, yeah, I've always been like a casual fan of the manga. Like I've never like really like finished like any of the series. Like I think the closest I ever did was like the, you know, like the Duel Monsters one, like especially like the season zero chapters. But like, like I've fully caught up with the arc five, like the scales that we've gotten so far. And it's like pretty freaking awesome. So it's like, I'm like really excited to talk about it today. So yeah so like how about we get started with that all right so um thea is gonna let me have the discussion because i've done this a lot so that's totally fine it's all approved by her so the first thing we're gonna talk about today is just our general opinion so thea what do you think about the arc 5 manga what's your opinion like a little bit more than a basic answer so um the arc 5 manga specifically like okay so um there's a few things that i think they do a lot like better than the anime okay like first of all i'm like really like interested in like the villains like i think the villains are like they're so mysterious yes. and just like yeah <laughs> yeah like rarity loves the villains like, yeah, um, I do. <laughs> yeah so i think they're 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 a, like a much better improvement from like leo akaba because like let's not even get started with him but uh one thing i really like okay my favorite thing absolute favorite thing about the manga is that um the the you boys in certain ways they're almost better done in the manga because it's like we have what i kept saying they should have done in the last 13 episodes of arc 5 where it's like okay they all exist inside yuya but like they could change places like they could just like go back and forth like whenever yugo feels like taking over he's like okay yuya step back it's like it's my turn like i feel like dueling like this is a motorcycle duel so it's like that's my job so it's like yeah that's that's one of my favorite things about it yeah so there's that and um okay i, lo I like that basically it's just like uh it's like they have the whole mysterious aspect going on. Like they kind of did that in the anime too. Like they like, we didn't know what Berserk mode was for the longest time, but now it's like we have like God and like Adam's factor. And it's like, I that's what I want to know about. It's like, what is this? It's like, why are we kept like in the dark about so many things? Like why are we kept in the dark about like what God is, what Adam's factor is? And like, why did like the you boys all sacrifice themselves to like live inside Yuya? Like it's just, there's just so many things going on. It's just like- It's like a big mystery. History. And that's part yeah. of the reason it's so much fun to talk about because there's so many directions you can go with it in terms of, you know, discussing it as well. I just love talking about it because there's so many ways you can interpret it. I think that's what Yoshida intended when he was writing it. I'm really happy that he's been doing so well with it. So, so that's my general impression of the manga. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get back to you, Rarity. Well, I love the manga just about everything about it i love the artwork it's so detailed and consistent the characters look so crisp i love all the manga versions of the characters of course i like some of their anime versions a little bit more but we'll get to that probably that later but i just love the story it's so the zexo manga was really dark it was the last manga yoshida did but the arc 5 manga is just really sad it's like really depressing and like but not overly depressing but you know what i mean like a lot of the stuff if you actually think about it is very very sad and i just love how complex it is in terms of the character relationship i love the villain characters i love how we're meant to feel symp sympathy for them i love the u-boy interaction it's great i love the brotherly bond that they're showing i love reiji just like i love every character i don't think there's one character that i just hate and i don't like seeing i like seeing all of them and their roles here and the stuff they've added like sora having a sister i think is brilliant i think that adds a lot to sora's character of course when you add a family member adding a family member like i said is just not common to the manga like this one like zexel did it they um removed rio they've added siblings like the fighties manga crow had a sibling so it's not an uncommon element but i just like you know little things like that to make the characters unique 
and whatnot. So I think it's going to be a good little segue so we talk about our favorite characters. We're going to talk about our favorite character that was in the original show, and then we're going to talk about our favorite character that just added into the manga in general. So, Thea, what's your favorite character that was from the anime in the manga? Like, what their manga version of the anime character is your favorite? So, like, if you guys have been following this channel for a while, like, it should be no secret that my favorite character from the anime is Yuto. And, like, in the manga, he's pretty much, like, the same. Well, we haven't seen much of him so far in, like, the first, like, 24 scales. So, I think they're saving him for later on. But, uh, yeah, like, I was, like, I was, like, a huge U-Boy fan in the anime. So, like, I really love what they're doing, like, with the U-Boys, like, in the manga. Like, I really, like I said before, I really wish that they did that whole, like, changing bodies thing, like, in the last, like last arc or the last 13 episodes of like the anime but one character change i really like i absolutely love is like is yuri like i, I did oh, like yes. anime yuri like he was so savage and like that was great but like i like him more as like a brother to yuya like he's just so yeah. like protected of yuya like I, I think there was one part i forgot which scale it was but he's like uh, nobody hurts yuya that and was, I was scale just, like, nine yeah. i know my numbers <laughs> yeah the, the expert over well, here well i also dubbed that me. one so <laughs> obviously i would know because i've had to hear the lines a lot but yeah, manga Yuri's great. Anime Yuri's fine, but it's like Yuri, like there was too much of him packed in at the end of season three where I kind of got sick of just seeing him do the same Savage. thing. Savage. I got sick of it. So like manga Yuri's refreshing. Like I think he's just a better realized character that actually has emotions. That's not just like this one-off Hitotsuni stuff. But that's just me. My favorite character that's um, from the anime that's in the manga is Yuya. I love manga Yuya so much more than his anime counterpart. He's, he's so cool. Yeah, he's like, like basically everything cool they added to manga Yuya, they just transferred to Yusaku. Because manga Yuya can be kind of sassy and witty. He's a hacker. I love and it. And he's kind of has memory problems. They just took everything cool they added to Yuya and just gave it to Yusaku. And then they just mix it's it like, with Yuto. This is the so brain spanker. Yusaku is the manga Yuto and Yuya child, as I like to call him. A little bit more deadpan, I guess. But yeah, I love manga Yuya. He is sassy. He's awesomely drawn. I like his heart. And I like he's just his own character now. Like, as in the anime, he was all about his father. Well, his father is a motivation in the manga. He's not like, oh, this is what my dad did. This is my entertainment dueling, not my dad's. He doesn't have that daddy issue. Where it's like, you know, Yusho ran away. Yusho's gone. We don't know where Yusho is. I think Yusho's still alive because, you know, Yusho, he's not dead because, you know, Yusho. He's never dead. No, he's not. So that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, I just love his character. I love his entertainment dueling more. I like his deck better. It's like a mature version of Yuya, but still stuck in the 14-year-old body, which I just love it. And I love how he's sympathetic and caring to everyone. Like, spoilers, like we, there probably will be a spoiler warning probably in the beginning of the video or something. I hope there is. Because in the newest chapter, he was concerned when Ren fell off his bike. So, and he was like trying to help him. And he seems to start getting sympathy for the villain characters like we are and stuff. So I think Yuya is a fantastic main character. I think he's just so much more better in the manga. I mean, I also just love his cape more. The, that jacket is weird looking. This cape is amazing. And he has a hoodie. Like, who doesn't love hoodies? I love the hood. The hood's amazing. I want to cosplay that. I, I've always wanted to, you know. But yeah. So now we're going to talk about our favorite character that's only in the manga exclusive. This is not hard for me to answer, but maybe for Thea it is. So what's your favorite character that's only in the manga? There's not that many, but of like, which, they're basically all the villain characters. Which one's your favorite and why? So I guess we just have like the villains to choose from. So I guess I I kind of like Ren because like, okay, first of all, he's a freaking descendant of Yugo. And it's just like, I it was just like, holy shit, like the plot twist, like what the hell is going on here? It was good. Then, it was a good one. Yeah. And it's like the last scale we got where it's like, I, I, I don't know if he's like dead or not. I hope he's not. I, hope he comes I, back, I don't think he's dead. I, I think I think they gave him too much build up to be dead. He's just taking a nap. Yeah, he's just like, we're gonna see him. Like, oh yeah, I was just like snoozing. I needed to like recharge the batteries. Eve is cool too, but it's like, we don't really see like all that much of her. So like, I can't, I don't have much to go off of with her. So yeah. like, I, I guess Ren is cool, but like, I don't, I'm like, I think my favorite characters are more like the, um, the ones that it's like, they were an improvement from the anime. Like the villains are cool. Like they're much better than Leo Akaba, like I said yeah. before. So I got the manga only ones. Yeah, so I guess Ren, I'd go with him. My favorite character that's in the manga only, which for most people isn't a surprise, is Eve. Now, you're probably saying, Rarity, there's like barely anything about her. But that's what I love about it. She's so mysterious. 
and like in the shadows and as a writer because i also write and things of that nature trying to figure out this woman is so interesting well number one she's gorgeous can, can we just say how pretty she is like have you seen her hair like girl she's beautiful she's so pretty like girl i want that hair like girl but she always says she's ugly but it's like she's not yeah i i, I like yeah, i mean even i mean i guess she's referring to the wrinkles which they're not scars i'm calling them scars still because they still look like scars to me not wrinkles but anyway makes her look badass i know see I, that's what i'm saying like eve girl you don't know what you're talking about but like i just love her character she's so interesting about like talking about morals and talking about She's the head. She's a female Yu-Gi-Oh villain. When does that ever happen where she's like the head boss? Because a lot of people thought Adam was going to be the head boss, but I don't think it's going to be that from what we just learned about what the Adam factor is. I don't think Adam's going to be a villain. I don't think so. And plus, if you go by the Bible, you know, Bible, Bible. Yeah, the Archive has a lot of Bible references if you didn't know. And so I Adam just, and Eve are together. Yeah, that Yu-Gi-Oh confirmed romance. I'm so proud of them. They actually Finally. confirmed it. I, I know, cause like I guess cause they're adults, they were a little bit more comfortable with it. But like if they go further and kind of hint at Yuzu and Yuya, if like Eve and Adam are descendants of those two, we're, are going to be together in the future or some you know something of that nature, then that would be cool. But I don't know if Yoshida would actually do that. But that would be pretty cool. But yeah, they confirmed romance. Pretty happy about that. So it's just interesting about like the morality she's what she's willing to do and she has like all these people enthralled like not enthralled but you know like under her you know control not literally maybe we don't know because apparently god can control people which i don't know how but he's a god so whatever and stuff to figure that Subtle out Subtle play on words yeah so yeah i just think she's such an interesting character and i'm really excited to see what we're gonna get out of her because whenever she shows up it's so important like even if it's just for like a few seconds a few like a panel or two you just know that something it's of importance like if you see her before a duel you know this duel is gonna have something important in it or she just mentioned it's just so interesting i i really can't wait to see her interact with like yuya and reiji what because most likely i'm pretty sure they're gonna talk to eve at some point I kind of want them to team up and f do her later, but that's just me. So we're going to get on to the part which us fangirls don't really like talking about, but we have to mention it because Yu-Gi-Oh! about the duels, which the duels the manga for me are fine. They're good, but like we're talking about our favorite one, and that includes like everything in the duels. So Thea, do you have a favorite duel or you're just like, eh? Okay, so the thing is that like, okay, so if you guys know me, if you've been to subscribe to this channel for a while, you know that like I'm more of like a plot person when it comes to like the anime and I, it's, like, I like yeah i like the duels it's like the duels are fun you know like seeing new cards seeing new monsters seeing new attacks that's that's cool and everything but it's like i'm more of a plot person but it's like i still enjoy the duels and it's like i find it really hard to follow duels in like manga format it's just like already in the anime it's like already like there's some duels where i'm just like i'm really not into it but it's even like harder like in the manga sometimes because it's literally just like you're seeing like panel 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 and it feels like nothing's really happening yeah but there, there, but it's like, you know, there's some duels that are still like pretty cool. My, I think my favorite duels would be like any of the ones involving Yugo or like, I guess like maybe like the other you ways too like when when Yuri just randomly took over just like mm -hmm. yeah like like i have a charge now but like i yeah. think the ones with you with yugo are like more impactful because like yugo seems the one he's like the most protective of yuya so far so mm -hmm. it's like when he takes over it's like holy shit like yuya's in trouble so it's like, yeah I think, like those ones i also like that the riding duels actually have actual skill in them and they're not autopilot for once like you actually have to know how to ride a motorcycle in order to riding duel that's amazing like why couldn't that be Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? I guess because they're like, oh, everyone's yeah. going to run a play on a motorcycle. But that's a lot more realistic. It's like they have to do it manually. And then it's like testing the skills. And they talk about like the machine you're using actually has something to do with it. Like, it's amazing. I love that part. And I do, my favorite duel actually is the Sora and Yuri duel. I mean, the Sora, Yuya, Yuri duel. I know I'm biased because I dubbed that one. But there's a reason I did it is because I loved... Obviously, when Asora gets revealed, I just love how he just went from... He tricked Yuya with, like, the picture of his sister, which we found out to be real. And then, like, just everything about it. The build-up to the duel was great. The aftermath was great. We first saw Red and Eve. We saw, you know, the, the explosion in the building. 
Like that duel was yeah, really was cool. well done. And yeah, I can understand how you say it's kind of hard to follow along with the manga, but I guess cause like I'm a dubber, I can kind of like imagine all the sound effects and stuff in my head. Or like when I'm calculating, like trying to figure out how to dub something. It's probably a lot better if you let me watch the dub versions of my duel, of the duels. Cause like it's a little bit easier for you to probably understand. Probably. Yeah, it's so much better to like to watch your dubs than to just like sometimes read the the duels like in the manga. Yeah. Like, like I... watch her dubs, man. Like they're so cool. <laughs> oh, thanks. We just do our best to try to make it as show accurate and as high quality for you guys as possible. That's that's our job. But it's anyway. literally like watching the anime sometimes. It's <laughs> oh, pretty awesome. Thanks. We we try. And speaking of the anime, this is gonna another good segue. I like segues, as some of you might know. Um, to I suck at about... those. <laughs> The um, comparisons to the anime about, like, just comparing it to the anime. Um, I'm going to go first on this one, if you don't mind, Thea. Yeah, go um, ahead. In terms of comparing the two, a lot of people, um, just in terms of things, I like them both. I Arc file, my favorite manga, is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. But there are definitely some things in both versions that I like better than the other. Like, for characters, for instance, I like the anime Yu-Gi-Oh! better. Because I love Apple shipping and I love his goofiness for Rin. But I understand why in the manga he can't be like that all the time. Because Rin doesn't have an influence on him. Yuya does. It's a completely different character. And he has to be a lot more, you know, serious in order to protect Yuya. So I completely understand them changing the characters. Like I like I've said, I love anime manga Yuri and Yuya better. Yuto is kind of the same. And there are some characters in the anime that are a little bit better, but like I think the manga overall has a stronger story just in terms of like consistency. Like I think as we all know, the Arc 5 anime plot was a mess. Can we agree it's a mess? Oh yeah. Doesn't mean yeah. it's not fun to watch. It's just structurally it's a mess. I will vouch for the first 135 episodes, but the last 13, I, they were garbage. <laughs> I like the Dennis and Yuya duel. I love that one. I'm sorry. That, that oh, duel yeah, was good, fun. Yeah. That duel was fun. Um, but yeah, and I don't like what they were doing. I think some characters definitely are as good in the manga just because they're not as much screen time. But that's because the anime's problem had too many characters, and I kind of like the manga is limiting the number of characters to try to like keep it kind of equal because we have like five people who are the de definitive good guys. We have the you boys and Yuzu. We have the four villains, five if you count Adam. And then you have Reiji, Shingo, and Shun. So it and then it's like a nice little circle of like characters. It's a nice little group. It's not like there's like a million characters in certain dimensions. Like obviously there was more characters in the synchro dimension than any other dimension besides standard. I think the balancing's a lot better. And there's no legacy characters in the manga either. Not to say I wouldn't like there to be legacy characters. Like if they brought over Koji Agumo from the Zexo manga in this, that would be amazing. Cause if you've read this Zexo manga, Koji Agumo is a freaking savage. I, he's so good. He's the Spider-Man that actually is allowed to kill people. Spoiler alert, but yeah, he's great. He's kind of like Yuri if Yuri was actually allowed to be more violent. <laughs> And you were telling me about that before, and it's like, damn, I should read the Zexel manga. You should! The Zexel like, manga is really good! I like it a lot more than I like the anime. It's really good. It's by the same team as the Arc 5 manga. There is a bit more fan service in it, like, in terms of what they do with Katori and Kathy and Luna. There's a little fan service, but, which, I'm actually really happy the Arc 5 manga hasn't been doing that much fan service. I'm really happy they've kind of toned it down a lot. There was, like, maybe, like, one or two times, but, you know, it happens. You know, in it happens, you know, in manga. It's it, it's a thing. But I'm glad they've toned it down and kind of kept the focus where it should be. So that's kind yes. of like some of my major anime comparisons. Um, I think in the manga, we have stronger villains. I think the villains are more better than the anime villains because Zark, w Leo was a bad villain. Zark kind of was wasted potential. I think the fans have done so much more at Zark of what I've read in like fan stories or people telling me their own theories for Zark are a lot more interesting of a character than what we actually got and whatnot. And I just think the plot's a lot better structured. The anime, I would say, is a lot more fun based. Like, it's kind of, it's really fun. But I mean, I love the Bracelet Girls and I love them to death. So that's probably one of my biggest sad things, you know, just because they're not in the manga, but I'm accepted they're not in there. Because if they added them, the story would be way too cluttered. There wouldn't be enough, you know, screen time for all of them to, like, get some sort of role. If they're gonna keep Yuzu limited, keep her limited from the start, which they've been doing it that way. It's not like, you know, in the anime, we thought Yuzu was gonna be, like, the strong character of the entire show, but we all know what happened to her. At least they're not twisting of our expectations. Yeah, that, yeah, that would make sense, especially since, like, the manga is more, like, it's a condensed version of the anime, I guess? Not so it's really. Like... It's kind of their own story. It's not, like... 
it's its own it's, it's own its own universe, and I like that the Yu-Gi-Oh does that. It's its own unique story because in most franchises, as you probably all know, the mangas come first, and that they adapt the manga into the animes, but not here. Aside from Duel Monsters, that was like the in season zero were the only two that did that. I like how different they are. It's it's like a different I experience. Love season zero. So what about you comparing it to the anime? I know you have a lot to talk about here. So what are some oh comparisons <laughs> you've made? Would you like some things better? Do you wish, you know, the anime, you know, what? just compare the two for a little bit. Okay, I could go off for like a while here. Because like, I remember when I first started YouTubing, I, I said there were a lot of videos where I mentioned like, oh, they did this in the manga and they should have done this in the anime. Let's start off with plot. Okay, so plot, it's like, okay, I agree with you, Rarity. The plot was a mess. For arc five like the anime it's just like it started off so great then synchro arc synchro arc wasn't bad yeah but it was people just like trash was... on the synchro arc way too much like it's fine like it's we got the long, best berserk like, mode out of it there's some good character development in there like shun yugo yeah. serena like if they took it out then there'd be a lot less character development yeah, exactly so synchro arc wasn't bad it was just that it was like 50 episodes long when it could have been like you know like 25 like easily and then like yeah like i like um Exceeds dimension like I know a lot of people don't but I like it because Yuto was back in the picture So like yeah, as long as we got that I couldn't really complain much about it And then like a fusion dimension I love because like we got more Yuri the Zark revelations You know like all like all that good stuff. It's just like like when Yuya turned into Zark and onwards I was like no fuck this memory shit. I, no, I, I, I can I mean that was the one thing that made me really mad in the anime was what they did with the doctor I'm glad he died because I don't like him I hated that whole concept. I, I still do. I, I refuse to believe it happened. I know it's kind of ignorant, but like in my fan brain, I just don't like that my girls got controlled like that. Like that's, mind control's one thing. Parasites in people's brains is another thing. Yeah, that's, that's creepy. Disgusting. That was like, just, like what was the whole point of that? It was just like, what, because they wanted to bring out Odd Eyes Raging Dragon? Like you could have done that in so many other ways. I, I like, think I they were just like, oh, we gotta give the girls one duel, but who are they gonna fight against? Oh, what'll make them fight the heroes? Cause drama. I mean, the Rin and Yugo duel was really good. Like that duel broke my heart. Whenever I ever watch yeah. it, I just start crying because I remember staying up for the stream and crying my eyes out for like a whole day because it was so well done. I mean, that was so emotional. The other duels weren't that emotional. Like, the show to Ruri duel in the summer was like, oh, I they're know, gonna right? start crying. There was no tears. There was no crying. I didn't see any crying. Like, writers. Like, I didn't see anything. It was boring. And it was just like, eh. And then the Serena and Ruri Yuto duel was cool. It was cool to see Yuto fight again, but he fought for like, what, five minutes? Then he yeah, and then like he got acid on his leg, but for some reason Yuya's not affected by that. Like, how does that make any sense whatsoever? Because Yuto's the same resistant. Because it was purple, and Yuto's purple. Uh, yeah, that makes so much sense. But, totally. Yeah. So um, okay. So the plot in the manga, like I feel like it. Yeah, like what you said, it's a lot better structured. Because I think the manga, it's like we don't have like, because like you could read like the first. 24 scales in like maybe a couple of hours like to watch like the entire anime would take you like it took me like two and a half weeks to do that so it's like you have less time to tell the story and i think it's like they have to use the the time like like they have to construct it in a more effective manner and so they I have feel a like lot more freedom as well yeah because because like the anime of course was like the bigger selling point like the manga has new cards in it sure and like they're selling and they're good cards but like the anime had an agenda for also being the anniversary series, too. That's why they were pushing the cameo characters so much. And the writers were given probably a lot less freedom than Yoshida in the manga. He's, like, the only person writing it, so it's his creation. He's given total creative freedom, and I think that freedom's really allowed him to make something really special here. Yeah, I agree with you there. I think, like, the one of the things, like, the anime has to do is sell the cards. I don't think the anime... Uh, not the anime. The manga, they're not that focused on selling cards. Like, I don't think the cards are relevant, like... Maybe, like, they have, like, a small impact, but, like, it's really, like, not their main selling point. It's, like, the main selling point is the story. It's for people who like to read and enjoy, like, these fictional universes. I, I think the plot is, like, better paced and, like, they have better villains. It's, like, like, I, I really liked Zark in the anime. I, like, I thought Zark was a really interesting villain because he represented, like, real, like, issues that exist in societies like celebrities and you know how they go like these dark paths with like drugs and all that and like and it's all like pressures that are put on them by their fans that's a very very real problem but like you said he was like wasted potential these villains like ran eve it seems like they're used sparingly but it's like i was like they're using them properly it's just like it's like i don't know how to explain it it's just like it seems like they we don't see them all that much 
but it's yeah. like yeah. when you do see them, it's like it's Whoa. like oh, I want to know more about them. It's exactly, like, like, they got that kind yeah. of aura about them. It's and that's that's why you do something correctly is you do it like that. But yeah, um, what is like something? I guess I can just add to this. What is something like in the anime that? Or it's rather, if there is one thing you could change about the anime that you'd add a manga element to the anime, what would it be? Would it be the U boy thing? I'm pretty sure that's what you'd answer. Yeah, like I'm um, definitely like that. I just I love that whole thing. That's like I'm obsessed with this manga. Like, cause I've never finished like a manga series. It's like I like the other mangas, especially like the the volumes with like the season zero. Like I love those. But it's like I was never like fully invested that I was like I wanted to like finish the series. This because they have that whole aspect where it's like. I don't know with the I just I love that it's like it's not all about Yuya like all the time it's like each of these boys play a role and it's not just like oh like we have to become one person like in the anime it's like oh become one become one it's like no we don't why here. yeah exactly it's like why okay because we know it's like they used to be all like their own people they had their own bodies at one point but then it's like for some reason that we don't know yet they all sacrificed their entire lives to protect Yuya so but it's like what is that reason and it's like and although there's also the fact that it's like they don't just exist as spirits, it's like they also like if they like they could do whatever they want. They could they literally could just like forcefully take over you yet. It's like okay, like you can't handle this, is this fusion, whatever. So it's like Yuri, like time to go. So it's like I I love that. So it's like they still like they're still present even though they all they're all stuck inside Yuya from the beginning, but it's like they all play a role and I like I love that. There are some things like because I think we're still on the topic of like comparisons to the anime. Um, there are some characters that I do prefer, like, in the anime, though. Like, yeah. I like- I like Reiji better in the anime, because he seems, like, more calm, cool, and collected, and he's smart, and it's like, you know, like, well, the thing I love about Reiji in the anime was that, like, oh, it's like, my go main goal is not to be Seto Kaiba and just, like, kick the protagonist's ass. It was like, I have to save the world from my father. Here, it's just like, he's like, you know, we have an interesting story going on with him and Leo Akaba, but it's like, I don't know, it's like he's he's angry all the time, and I don't like seeing Reiji angry. I, I like seeing Reiji as smart. I, I'm the opposite. I find Reiji being angry just hilarious. I don't know why. I, I find such joy out of it. Maybe because it's so different as well, but yeah, I get what you're saying about Reiji. Like, like I don't like the manga versions of Shud and Shingo as much as the anime. It doesn't mean they're not funny. Like, Shud and Shingo interacting in general is hilarious. The, ma the anime, that rarely happened. To see the two of them just interact. It was just great, and how intense Shun is, he's kind of like a real Marafuji 2.0, it was kind of cool in the beginning. I, I, and just yeah, Shingo I didn't like that Shingo. in Shingo. Shingo's good in anything, Shingo needs his own stuff. Yeah, exactly. Off. Like, I've always said this, just the Shingo show, I would totally just watch an anime about Shingo. I could totally If it was like a sitcom. <laughs> this is like a Shingo the life sitcom. of Shingo Sa Sawatari. That, that would be I love great. that. But yeah, like Full House or something, but with Shingo. We could make for days, but we're not going to bore you people with that forever. We could go on, but I think that's a good place to probably put it for now, I would say. We've talked about a lot. Yeah, just to quickly say, like, I like I like Shin better in the anime, obviously, because, yeah, he's like real Marafuji in the manga, and I was never the biggest fan of real Marafuji. At least he seems to be a better person than, than Ryo Marafuji turned out to be. At least he doesn't have a sibling he could destroy. At least so Shun's kind of calmed down a little bit. A little bit since the first duel, so he's good. Yeah, he's he's kind of like he has like a ragey type of attitude at this point in the manga. Who's he's just, like, he's yeah, just he's like ragey. calm. But yeah, I don't like that like him and um, and Yuto are not friends of the manga. It's like I live for that in the anime. Like I sh I kind of ship them together, but I didn't Dark ship Rebel Yuto shipping. and Rory. Also, that's another thing. Um, no bracelet girls, um, which is like it kind of yeah, sucks. Yeah, like, like I, I mean. I, I said this earlier, but like that's what I said. Like I said earlier, like it would make the plot a little too con too compiled. It'd make it too cluttered, and then we probably need to add descendant characters for them. So that's like adding six characters, and that's too many. I love them. I I think what they're at least gonna do because like in the in the volumes they've been showing us character designs. I'm pretty sure one of the volumes is gonna have the bracelet girl um, designs because they've got Yuzu's, we got like the three Yu show kids. So I hope we can see their original designs, what they originally were going to look like. That would be awesome. Cause as you know, the Arc 5 manga artist is the character designer. So that'd be cool to see what their thought process was. Cause Yugo, oh my God, Yugo looks like he was gonna be a tops member originally. If you look at his original design, it looks just like Edo. It's like Arc 5 design without the cloak on. It's really different looking. Oh yeah, you showed me that. I was like, what? That so doesn't look like Yugo. <laughs> kind of like it though. He looks so slick though. I don't know why. Yeah. But, but sophisticated anyway, I, I think we can... <laughs> sophisticated Yugo is cool. Like Topps Yugo would be cool. And he sneaks down to the comments to see Rin. That would be a cool story. But anyway, 
we're gonna move on before we just keep rambling because we don't want to bore you people because the discussion's getting pretty long um we have a little more few more sections left so what is one thing thea that you really want to see in the manga like one thing if it could be anything what would you want to see like let's 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 reasonable okay so um so far we've only really gotten like i think the most you boy backstory we've gotten is yugo like he has this whole relationship with yuya it's like on a brotherly type of level i don't know if they are brothers maybe the, maybe they are we don't know yet but like yeah but i want to see more like yuto and yuri backstory because like my main interest in the manga is like they've done so well with the you boys like they have such an interesting thing going on and i want to see a lot more of that i want to see like how the you boys fit into all this like like more backstory and like uh, I think at one point it was like because of the Adams factor it's like they were gonna get like killed off one by one so it's like I think they're gonna start with Hugo and it's like like if, if they do decide to go down that route of like they kill off each of them like one by one it's like before they lead up to that it's like we get that whole backstory in the process of like losing each one so it's like if it's like we're about to lose Yuri it's like we get all these like flashbacks and you're and Yuya yeah. regains his memories. That, like, that's exactly oh. what I think is going to happen. It's just, I'm happy it's not happening yet. I mean, we don't know because we haven't seen the U-Boys since um, scale 21, which is kind of scary. Been a while. We haven't seen them since then, but I hope they're okay. And I kind of want to see the reactions to everything. But yeah, that's, that's something good to wish for. I think that's going to happen. For me, I just want a whole half a chapter, a full chapter explaining how Adam and Eve fell in love because I want to see Yu-Gi-Oh tackle like a romantic soap opera. I mean, I love, I mean, I, I mean, I just want to see that. It's something different. Just like seeing the lives of these people, you know, I dubbed the heck out of that one. That would be really fun. I just kind of want to see like what in the past, like made their motivation into turning like how they found God, but Two characters falling in love with Yu-Gi-Oh by actually like showing it. They hardly ever do that, like ever in the anime. So like to see that in the manga, it was just like, oh my god, they actually have a confirmed ship. Like this is this is not fan fiction. Yeah. This is real. And they're not married, as far as we know, because I don't see a ring on Eve, so I don't think they're confirmed to be married. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, what do I not want to see? Um, let's see. Uh, hmm, but what do I not want? I mean, I'm up for anything, but. Uh, Unless they get rid of Eve. I think what I don't want to see is that I don't want to see, like... I want, like, there be a big twist at the end. Like, what I... Uh, it's so hard to answer because the manga is doing so, so well. Okay, I just, I just don't want to see the U-Boys die and, like, there's no impact. I want there to be, like, an impact when that happens. And I also just don't want, like, what's it called? I don't want the villain characters to be forgotten. Like, I don't want, like, Rand's on Connors. I don't want to never see him again, which I don't think that's going to happen because they've been built up so much. I just want to make sure every character keeps getting focused, is, like, involved in the story. We're not just, like, focusing on one. I want, like, you know, to be better equal shared t screen time for everyone. That would be really cool. And I want, like, there's going to be, like, this big twist that the villain is. Like, I I'm pretty sure Eve's not going to be the final villain because that's too obvious. They're probably going to be, oh, it's going to be G.O.D. or some other new character that we haven't seen yet. That would be kind of cool. I just want there to be... A little maybe less predictability how the ending's gonna turn out but we never know what about you is there one thing you don't want to don't want to see like obviously i don't want to see like the you boys like die i would prefer if they stayed alive until like the end of it but like if they had to kill them off like one by one like i would accept that but like don't don't do it like how what they did to like you go in the anime oh where please, just, no, like, please no please <laughs> no please no I, I could rant about that scene all day i hate that scene it was it was so terrible it was so bad. Out of character. I hate it. I, impactful deaths. It's like, even like, the, like these villains, because like, I find these villains really intriguing. It's like, I think I mentioned it in one of my previous videos that like, I've never been all that invested in villains when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! They don't really seem like, like villains, though. Like, they yeah. seem like they're antagonists, because of course they're opposing the main characters. But like, they don't seem like bad people. I mean, they're kind of doing bad things, but they're not like doing it like... It's kind of weird because Eve's so a mystery. Like, she's doing this partially to get her boyfriend back, partially to be immortal, with, like this family of people. Like, they're all doing it for, I mean, they're sort of selfish reasons, but you know, like, it happens. It's just the morality of all, which I think is why it's working so well. But yeah, what I was going to say is that, like, um, I don't want them to be like i don't want their motives to be like stupid i don't want them to be like you know like leo akaba and the anime like i'm doing this all to resurrect my daughter it's like i don't want it all to be like oh eve is just doing this to like resurrect her boyfriend i want them to be like I sympathetic think it's that. i don't think it's that there's got to be more to it we don't know because there's also god itself 
as a character. Like, maybe... We just don't know everything, and it's kind of interesting, but... I guess at least I like that to, we don't know yeah, everything. Yeah. I guess this leads to the final topic of the video is a prediction, which we're going to ask you guys to put a manga prediction in the comments. You know, start some discussion. I'll look at the comments. Theo will, so we can kind of answer and kind of like give our opinions on your theories or predictions. Um, my one prediction is that I think that Sora is going to betray Eve at some point because he seems to want to do this for Mew, but he's going to try to betray Eve. Doesn't mean it's going to work. Because we know G.O.D. is controlling people. But I feel like he's going to because Sora's like the odd boy out in the villain group because he's the youngest. He doesn't have the wrinkle scar thing. And he seems to want to do this for Mew. I mean, he said in the last chapter he wants the world that G.O.D.'s going to make so that, you know, his sister can come back. But does he care about Eve? We don't know. But I feel like Sora, because, you know, in the anime, they kind of like keeping the roles of the characters in the manga kind of similar to their anime roles, at least in terms of like alignment, usually. It's not always that way, but you know what I mean. I think that would be really cool if that happened to Sora, but you never know. But I think Sora's gonna at least start having doubts because I feel like they're all gonna have doubts. Because if you look at Ren's like visual language during when, he, before he went back, he seemed to, like, really just seem to, like, disagree with, like, what Eve was doing. Because, you know, not that he was, like, a get it, you know what I mean, right? It was just, like, you get that vibe that he's, like, just, this is not something that's worth doing. But he's doing it because, you know, he's an honorful guy. Plus, he cares about her sanity. It's just so complex, and that's what I love about it so much. So, do you have a prediction of what's gonna happen, Thea? Uh, even though, like, I have, like, nothing to base this off of, this is just, like, my, I guess, my brain just, like, spiraling out of control here. But, like, I think that, like, Ren, because he seems, like, a bit, like, he's got, like, the most issues and he kind of, like, hates his life at the moment, that he's just gonna eventually, like, turn on Eve and Isaac and just, like, fight for Yuya. Because, mm -hmm. like, because uh, he has a connection to Yugo, and, like, Yugo is part of Yuya, so it's, mm -hmm. like, I think he, yeah. he'll eventually, that like, could maybe change sides. That yeah. would be kind of cool, and I could see some drama happening that, or he just accidentally, um, helps them, because I really do hope they're gonna infiltrate Eve's base, because I want to know where that is! It looks like such an interesting place! Like, there's, like, trees and, like, space galaxy, like, where are they? I want to know. Are they in between the dimensions? Is it, like, a Garden of Eden kind of thing? I just want them to explore wherever their base is, because I think it looks very visually interesting. Yeah, I'd be down to have a base like that. Like, yeah, everyone come to my base, party in there. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's gonna happen, that they're gonna jump in one of the- I don't know why, I feel like because it always Always happens that characters that have portals like Yuya's gonna jump in one of those portals and chase after them maybe Sora of all people he's like wait no I'm coming with you jump through the portal I, I, can, see, portals I, can, see, awesome. I can see Reiji doing it too it's like okay I want to beat you up your boss lady so let me come with you man like I can see badass that can do literally anything I can you know? see that <laughs> But I think that's a good place to stop for right now because we don't want to spoil way too much for you guys. If you guys haven't read the manga yet, please, you please, should. please go read it. It is worth your time. We promise you it's worth your time. And it doesn't take that long to read it all. But we have so far. And yeah, it takes only like a few hours. To, like, yeah, it's not. It's not scales. hard, especially if you're like not heavily into dueling. You can kind of skip the kind of the duel stuff kind of quickly. You kind of understand the context and you get some of the lines that are plot important there in there. But it's really worth your time. The artwork is incredible. You guys can get it on Shonen Jump. You, the volumes are coming out in English and print. Like, they're coming digitally too. Support the official release. You know, all that stuff. It'd be kind of cool if Crunchyroll kind of put it on their manga lineup. But they're not going to do that because it already has an issue in Shonen Jump. So, you know, Crunchyroll is not going to do that. But that would be kind of cool. Because they're trying well, they to do could. Like, look what they do with Brains. You know, they, you know, they may do that for the Brains manga. Like, put like a simulcast manga like on Crunchyroll. That'd be kind of cool. You never know. Yeah, I'd be down for that. But, but, but Yu-Gi-Oh's been in Shonen Jump since the beginning, and they had that partnership with the Yu-Gi-Oh card, so the Yu-Gi-Oh manga probably has to be in Shonen Jump. Not that it's bad. Like, Shonen Jump's fine. It's, like, a good quality. And the translations are fine for the most part. There's some foreshadowing stuff. For some reason, the English version likes to leave out for awkwardness. I don't know why they do that. But yeah, you guys should totally go read it. So any final thoughts before we close, Thea? I think I pretty much said everything that's on my mind. Like, oh, the manga's just been really good up to this point. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for scale 25. Yes. Please, give, please come Give me soon. more, you boys. 
It's not gonna happen because we have a Reggie and Isaac gunslinger thing to do because they all set their face down cards. But yeah, um, I oh, like that was cool <laughs> though. Yeah, it is pretty cool. It's kind of cool to see a face down showdown. We haven't really seen that since like what was it, Yugi versus Arcana in like Duel Monsters, like a set card fight. That's kind of cool in OG, o old school. But I'd like to thank Thea for allowing me to come on the channel and talk. It's been a pleasure, and I hope we can do this again sometime, either for brains or whatever you want to talk about. I'd love to come back because it's been a blast talking with you and you're very hospitable and very nice. So thank you for having me on. Thank you for coming on. I absolutely like was so honored that like you asked to do this with me because like I was like, oh my God, Senpai noticed me. I was just like- I'm so not happy. a Senpai. Why does everyone keep saying that? I'm not Senpai. I'm just a normal person who loves Yu-Gi-Oh and dubs it for people and does something creative with it. That's just me. I'm not like this ultra god on earth. That's not me. But, but you I'm are when it comes to the manga you. though. I'm very like the manga gods. <laughs> this has been like really awesome having you on. And like guys, like if you want us to do like if you want this to be a regular thing or like me and Rarity like talk about the manga, she already does it with um like her friend Loon on her channel. But if you also like, want I wouldn't to mind talking about it again. Too. Talk about the manga anywhere. So I'm totally fine for that. Yeah, if you guys want that, I don't mind coming back for anything. You guys want me to talk about Varanes, the manga again, talk about some of the older mangas. I mean, I could rant about the 5Ds manga a lot. <laughs> you guys want to hear me do that? That'd yeah. be an interesting thing to tackle, because I heard that the 5Ds manga isn't very good, so I was thinking of just, like, it, it, reading it's, it. It's, and... it's, it's mixed. Like, it, it's an opinion. It's a weird taste. Like, some people love it, some people don't. It's just kind of weird. It's got good stuff in it. Not that it's terrible. It's just, for my taste, it just isn't for me. Some people love it, though, and that's great if you can find enjoyment in something that we don't like. That's the more power to you. That's good. Like, if you can find enjoyment, that's amazing. I'm, I'm definitely going to try reading it for myself just so I can have, like, my own opinion on it because everyone that I've heard talk about it says, like, oh, it sucks. Don't bother with it. I'm going to do that, read the Zexel manga because, like, those are the two that I've never touched out of, like, all the manga series. Like, yeah. So, like, if you want, like, more, like, manga discussions, like, I'll like I'll ask Rarity to come back on again. So, like, because leave comments down below. Because with copyright because no one touches it. So, yay for us. Not have to worry about it. Yeah, because if you guys don't know the status of my channel, like, uh, I I'm, I'm currently at one copyright strikes no, and it wasn't even for something brains it was something for like arc 5 related so like any type of like footage they don't like they're just gonna like take down so like if I could include more manga stuff like I'll probably like do that so I'm, like if I do that I'll probably like ask Rari to come back on again because she's such an awesome person to talk to <laughs> oh you're so sweet you're so flattering I, I really did enjoy coming on I love the manga like I've said and I preach about it all the time and I really encourage people to go out and read it. I know it's different. I know it's not the same anime that you guys, if you're a big ARC-5 fan, that you love. And I love the ARC-5 anime, too. I just think how different it is and how just the differences make it a unique experience. And I hope to keep bringing you guys good more discussions, you know, good manga content on my channel, more dubs. I'm working on skill 19 at the moment. I'm hoping to get that finished by next month. There's no, of course, definite day because, you know, real life, because I have a team of 15 plus people and who make the videos happen, which everyone credits me all the time. But I'm just like, we're a team. We're the Phantom Crew, man. It's everyone. I can't do all this. Sure, I direct. Sure, I edit. Sure, I do a lot of the work. But the voice actors She's are what bring the characters to life. <laughs> yeah, I do all that. It's it's a work, and they are wonderful people. So totally, if you're going to support me, support them too. And support Thea. And support every Yugi tuber because Yugi tubing is starting to go down now. And, you know, because of copyright, yeah, I don't think that should stop us. Yeah, we lost him, unfortunately. I hope he comes back, but, you know, we never know. I don't know anything, guys. If some people were like, do you know anything? And I'm like, no, I don't. But I just hope... That it's understandable. Yeah, I don't. But I'm sad I don't. But hopefully things are going to get better for all of us. But luckily for us, we can talk about the manga to our heart's content. Because no one will touch us, pretty much. Hopefully. Unless I start doing it. But they've never done it before. Because they usually aren't as bad on copyright about images. At least for the manga, anyway, because I don't think Neon Atism has the rights to for the manga. I think it's a different company, but I don't remember. But yeah, that's all I have to say. So um, I thank you guys, you know, for tuning in. You know, I'm really happy. I feel like this is my own channel. I'm sorry, Thea, but she told me and had the discussion because it's my it's my field. So. Well, you are the manga expert, so it's like if I took the lead, I'd just be like, okay, so these are like the two things I feel like talking about, and that's about it. <laughs> well, I tend to be good at that kind of thing because I'm super invested, as you guys know. 
So, yeah, um, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on this channel or mine, wherever you want to see me. I have Twitter. You can follow me there if you want to. I usually post all the leaks when they come out, and go read the manga for yourself. Please go read it. Yeah, so um, if you haven't subscribed to Rare Raid already, so it's like, yeah, just do it, because like she does these awesome dubs. She does like a lot of manga discussions. It's really awesome if you're like a manga type of person, like go subscribe to her. I'll leave like her uh, YouTube and her Twitter in the description down below. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today. Like this was this was awesome. This was an awesome discussion. So um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day.